good day folks heading out to the river i'm in vermont and we'll see you there Let me show you what we're doing. So today we're gonna dig out this swath of red dirt. We have all this rusty material. There is tons of magnetite stuck under this red dirt. There's black dirt that shows up. Everything's real clumpy. Let's get started. Nasty. First clean out of the gold trap, we got some little bits. There's one, two, three, four, five, I think there's six. There's a couple somewhere. They're really small, I lost them. <laughs> um, that was two three and a half gallon buckets filled about two thirds of the way. So I'm gonna keep rocking. All the rocks that have been taken out of the hole, I've been washing in this bucket right here. I just dumped all the sludge that was come, that came off these, washed in the bucket, into my pan. So I'm gonna pan this out. You can see, this stuff is goopy. I'm gonna pan all this stuff out and see if it's worth cleaning these rocks off constantly. See if I can save myself some time. If there's better gold in it than I just got out of the run on the gold trap, then I know this stuff is right on the surface. All right, I'm glad I did that because there's nothing in that pan. So I'm not gonna waste any more time washing these rocks. If I have time at the end of the day, after all the digging and putting everything um, through the classifier, then I'll wash rocks. Here's the second clean out after going uh, deeper into that hole. So I'm probably about a foot and a half down now. And if it helps anyone, I'm at an elevation above sea level of about 725, 750 feet. So if that helps you while you're looking after the flood, and this is the second clean out. So I'm not getting a crazy amount, but it's here. It was on the surface and it's a foot and a half down, so I'm gonna keep digging. I wanna show you a little trick. After you panned out your concentrates and you got all the gold out in your snuffer bottle, you're still gonna have concentrates that are left in there. And you always wonder, well, is there still pieces of gold in here that I missed? So get everything back to the front, take your snuffer bottle, and bang the back like this. And if you watch, you'll watch all the coarse stuff in the pan come backwards. And then tilt your pan just a little bit as you go. And if you look in that back left of the pan, you see nothing but fine black sands. All your coarse stuff ends up over here, and then your black sands are here. And then from there, you can just pan those back slow and see if there's any pieces that you missed. You can kind of look around too, but the gold here is obviously really small. Sometimes we miss pieces, so hopefully that helps you. Wow, that's a cool looking rock right there. Nice big old piece of quartz going right through it.
so much of this red dirt everywhere. And it's pulled up over in this corner too. It's just everywhere. Is the third clean out. Nice little flake. I'm getting consistent pieces. That rock right there had some nice material under it. I wonder sometimes when I'm making these videos if people figure out exactly where the location is. Earlier I did say uh, probably two or three clues as to where I am but I'll give you another one. Um, this was one of the worst hit areas of Vermont. There's, there's about three towns that got hit really bad and they're all right next to each other. Had a fun day, and uh, let me show you the gold. I'm gonna switch to my cell phone and then show you that. It seems to work better. Thanks for watching, be well. Well, there's the pot of gold in the field.